Kaboom! Bolt action! Falsham, Falsham Yager weapons teams uh, for mid to late war. This looks pretty dang cool. I've been uh, showing some weapons teams here lately, like the Japanese and uh, uh, USMC. So I figured, let's get those Falsham Yagers out here. Here's the back of it. And you get three dice. This box is so small, it made you, I was like, there's no way it's got six miniatures in here and three dice. But yeah, Warlord was able to show it can be done. So if we go ahead and open it up. Uh, if I can open it up right now. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Yeah, look, I didn't even pause. It's going to pause here pretty soon, though. And here we go. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, one of those little code things. And it's nicely packaged by Alice. Well, Alice, that's the first time I got a... Something from Alice. So, all right, let's look at this, man. All right, you got it open up here. Thank you, Alice, for packing it. Um, there's your, uh, it's got the bases all right there in this little bag with the three dice. Nice little gray, bluish kind of dice, I guess, or a field, what would it be, a field blue color, I guess? I don't know. And, um, and then we got the miniatures here. Um, you get, uh, I believe right here, you get the flamethrower. Uh, sniper and anti tank right there, the bazooka. So, and they're made out of a uh, Warlord Games resin. It's like a soft, well, not really a soft of a resin, but there is going to be some flashing on here, as you can see right there. Some flashing. So, look at that guy, man. So, I wish I could speak German, but I can't. So, and I will have a slideshow at the end here so you get a better idea. Oh, cool. That one provides the flames on there. That's kind of cool if you're in battle and all that, but if you're trying to move around, <laughs> you might want to, I don't know if you could not magnetize it, but you know. But anyways, that's just me. I'm being picky here. And so you'd be walking around with the flames going. <laughs> so anyways, kind of cool. And then uh, we have, there's the bazooka. Go boom. Oh, look, they kind of hollowed it out a little bit. Might take a drill and hollow it more, or just leave it alone. You know me, I'll mess it up if I kept doing it. So, a little bit more flashing on her, but that's typical for this kind of resin stuff. So, sniper dude, or is that the oh, it's a that's the watch, yeah, the spotter for the bazooka. All right, one of two, it's one of the two. There's a couple spotters here. So, and there's sniper. Look at that, look at that helmet on her. So, but alrighty, uh, and that's about it. I don't know what this. Oh, it looks like there's a piece that goes to the bazooka. Yep, it's the shield for the bazooka. So you gotta glue that on there. Alrighty, glad I caught that. So, and yep, here's another spotter there looking through his binox. Pretty cool. So, all right, y'all take care. Again, this is a just a very quick, unprofessional unboxing of the Foster Yager weapons teams, and um, I like it. Uh, these are actually a lot cleaner than the Japanese weapons team. So, but, and looking forward to getting them painted up. Uh, paint challenge is, uh, next month, guys, just to let you guys know. And if you want to get involved, everyone's welcome to be involved. All you gotta be is subscribe to my channel or a, a member of the, of my, uh, Facebook group. And that's it. Pretty dang easy. There is no emission fees to be involved in that. So, <laughs> y'all take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.